Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, David from Lefebvre, and in this video, we'll be reviewing the Wired Recon Series Snowboard, new to Wired for 2021. This board features Wired's multi-camber, which is a camber 2.0. So you got a little bit of rocker out in the tip and the tail, and it goes into traditional camber with a negative core profiling between the feet, kind of just to take down that arc of the traditional camber. And basically, what you get is a board that rides like traditional camber. You got that load and snap of traditional camber, but you got ease of entry in and out of turns just due to that rocker zone in there. Also makes it a little bit easier to get into a butter and whatnot, but overall, it's camber dominant. That's really what you need to know with this board. This board is available in five sizes, 152, 155, 158, 161, and 164. I rode this board at Arapaho Basin on a day that was just like a mix of everything spring. So you had warmer temps, sunny skies, zero wind, chunder snow, soft snow, slushy snow, cream cheese snow, firm frozen snow, perfect groomers, chunder groomers, lumpy groomers, and everything in between. And I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. So you have a directional twin here. which means slightly softer nose just due to it being longer and then it's pretty much even consistent flex from contact point to contact point it is a little bit stiffer than middle of the road so you're going to notice that it's got some rebound and fight to it there's a little bit of torsional give not an overabundance it's one of those boards that yes you can center flex it and twist it when you need to but overall it's not going to be crazy aggressive and just force you to bring your A game. Now, this board is super stable. It plows through everything with ease. You notice right away when you get into Chunder, it doesn't get bucked around. It just pushes through everything that it needs to push through and keeps on going. Being that it is camber dominant, you do get some rebound out of it. It's one of those boards you have to load it up to get the pop you want out of it. And what you put in is what you get out. It's got good rebound, it's got good snap. It's one of those boards that you can hit a roller and boost, hit a side hit and launch. You don't really have to worry about it. I mean, after all, like as directional as it looks, it's still a directional twin. So this is a board that you can really just go out and send it off of side hits, natural features and whatnot. All right, so with those small rocker zones on the tip of the tail, that's the sweet spot to lock into butters with this thing. You want to make sure that you get your weight out over it and really just set yourself up to press into it. Once you do, you're going to be fine. You don't really have to worry about it. It is going to fight you due to that camber profile and the flex, but the sweet spots hold their own. They lock in. You feel secure, you feel like you're going to be able to hold that press until you want to pop out of it. It's not one of those boards that just quickly wants to pop you right out of any press you put it into. So if you know how to friggin butter with a cambered snowboard and you know how to find a sweet spot, you'll be fine. If you don't, you're probably fucked. This board carves exceptionally well. You'll notice when you're on edge that it just wants to lay a trench and plow through everything in its path. It's quick and nimble where it counts. And you notice that that rocker zone and the tip and the tail help it engage and disengage a little more fluidly. There's just a smoother transition before it locks in. When you get into rutted out terrain, it pushes through everything in its path while it's on edge. The nice thing is that you have camber, so you can really drive from the center through the tail of the board if you need to, just to get it to push through a carve. If you know how to carve on a cambered board, you're fine. If you don't, well, it's time to learn because this thing's going to teach you how. In my opinion, this board kind of complements the wired Vantage, a board that I absolutely love from them. Now. The big difference between this and the Vantage is it's a lot more back foot dominant. It just pushes harder off the tail through carves, through slashes. You notice that right away. It's one of those decks that it's a little more precision based. The side cut isn't crazy aggressive, but it's aggressive where you need it to be. Overall, it's a great board for what it is. Comparable boards, the Rome Ravine Select, the Ride Commissioner, the K2 Manifest, this has been my review of the Wired Recon. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? 
leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and you just want to see us grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.